present the last award for to Michelle Lee. Michelle is a reporter on the political enterprise and investigations team at the Washington Post, and coverage focuses on money, influence, and ethics in politics. Previously, she was a reporter on the Post Fact Chapter, digging into false and misleading statements made by politicians and political groups. Fact checking, a laborious and but necessary step in truth finding, drew national attention in the 2016 presidential race. As a consequence, Michelle endured racist and sexist comments on her post simply because she was Asian and a woman. But she did not let the haters bring her down. Aside from fact checking, she wrote a powerful piece about how she would not take our right to vote for granted because it takes years for immigrants to gain the sacred freedom when they become citizens. She currently serves as the Senior Vice President of the Asian American Journalists Association, AJA. So at this time, I'd like to go ahead and bring up Michelle Lee. I'm so honored and humbled by this award and this recognition. Um, I'm also very grateful to be alongside my friends Scott and Salman, who I know very well through AJA, but also um, who I totally fangirled about before I ever met them in person. I, I followed their work when I was working in Arizona, um, wanting to cover national politics, because there weren't that many people who looked like me in national politics coverage um, among reporters who I wanted to you know, emulate and, and look up to as role models, so I'm totally honored to be here with them. I was born in Korea, and I was raised in Guam, um, and that's the, the piece that I wrote last year about getting naturalized. <laughs> I talked about how difficult it is to walk through that path of getting naturalized and earning your citizenship. Um, you know, I grew up in an island with, which is very diverse, and Ellen Bertalli is here, and thank you so much for being here. My island is full of families like mine who went there for a life in America, and that's where I really learned the value of diversity and knowing diverse perspectives and how that can um, educate people around us, our experience of the world, and our understanding of our society. And that's why I work to lift up the voices of minority communities. That's my passion. Um, that's why I work through AJA to make newsrooms diverse, to make coverage of minority, minority communities accurate and fair, and make sure that our news coverage really reflects our society around us. Our community's voice matters. The news cycle moves at such a lightning speed We've had crazy days today, <laughs> but we journalists must make time, take time to make sure that we're covering the diverse voices, the minority voices who don't have the same platform that the majority voices do. And we must do so accurately and fairly and with compassion. During a time when the press is routinely under attack and under scrutiny, we journalists must work harder to shine a light on democracy and cover the corners of our society that remain underexposed and undercovered. With this recognition, I'm really inspired to work harder to lift our community's voice. So thank you so much.